Uh, what's up guys, Triple C here. I'm going to show you another tutorial today. This is tutorial number 16. I haven't been uploading a lot lately, uh, but I'll do much more tutorials in the future, so be on the lookout for that. Today I'm going to show you two things in this tutorial. One, how to do a, st a sky race, how to get your trigger really far up in the sky so you can do a sky race. And how you can place down a small starting grid up there, or anywhere for that matter. And uh, yeah, let's go. I'll just show you exactly how you would do it if you would start a new race. We're going to do a land race. Uh, now you first gotta put down some settings here, I just call it GGG whatever. Description GGGG, probably the most descri used description ever. <laughs> I can take a photo real quick. Alright, um, placement, they actually want, want you to place a trigger before you can lay down any props. So we'll just place it somewhere here on the ground, we'll place down the, our lab, lobby camera, we gotta do that. And a checkpoint, we'll start, place the starting grid down here for now. Um, one checkpoint. Okay, so um, I did this in a previous tutorial. I showed you guys how to build super smooth platforms. Uh, normally, I would do it in the sky, but just for time's sake here, I'll do it on the runway. Um, I'm not sure if the runway is 100% straight. I don't know if anybody's really scientifically tested this yet. I would always build this in the sky, but just now for time's sake, I'll build it on the platform real quick just to demonstrate what I actually want to show you guys. So I'm just going to lay down three barges here, save them as a template. One, two, three, save template, all right. Now we got our props, we go over to templates, I'll select that template, and first we're going to get the platform straight now. And what I would always do, especially if you're building in the sky, first get your platform exactly straight on the ground, because in the sky you're never really going to see how straight you are. So we're going to pitch it, and we're going to go to the edge of a building where you know this building is 100% straight. And now we're just going to use this as a reference, basically, to get our platform exactly straight. And take your time with this, you know, because if you start out in the sky and your platform is not straight, the longer you build it, the more difference it will make. Uh, cars will glitch inside the platform, you know, and it's uh, and uh, they got to respawn right at the beginning of the race. So yeah, we're pretty straight here. Now we're just going to go all the way up in the sky with this. And we're going to place it up here. All right. So now normally um, if you're working at heights and you want to place a trigger, now, uh, often you can just just uh, move glitch it up, but now the trigger is too far away from the camera, so we can't move glitch it up here like we normally would. So what you do to get the trigger up here, uh, there's an old method and a new method. I'll just show you the new method because it's just so much easier. It was a more tedious way of doing this in the, back in the day, but now we've got a new method for this. So we take a checkpoint. Actually, I'm not allowed to place this either because the camera is too far away. So I'll first zoom down again. Right, here we go. Until I can place it, now I can place it. Now I'll zoom up to my platform again. Alright, here we go. And as you know, if you first place the checkpoint in the ground and then picked it up again, you can place it on objects. So now we placed our uh, checkpoint up here and now we can just place the trigger inside this checkpoint here now if you heard the sound a trigger is now placed in the sky so that way we can actually uh, set the starting grid up in the sky so now next problem uh, supercars use a medium starting grid where you got this uh, distance which you see now between the cars or if we turn like this so, wait, yeah. so let's see we got three barges here an eight player starting grid yeah, we could probably, let's see how many we can get up here. Yeah, now we're, now we're in trouble already with car number 13, you know. So if you would want to have a 30-player starting grid with a medium grid, you would actually have to place nine, yeah, nine platforms or something like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to small grid. That's the grid for the motorcycles. And as you see, it's much smaller. So we'll just go up here to 30 players. By the way, if you're further in the building process already, you might have motorcycles ticked off. So you got to hit the check mark at available vehicles at motorcycles again to be able to set the small starting grid. So now as you see, yeah, actually we can fit um, a 30-player motorcycle starting grid on only two platforms. So you save just so much space. Also, if you're building in the city, 
in narrow streets or whatever, you know, just always use the small starting grid because you can just get in so much more um, vehicles in a tight confined area. So we'll place down a starting grid for motorcycles for now. Now uh, we want to glitch this back to cars. So what we do, now we first save our race. Hit save. Okay, my race has been saved. Now you go to race details. And now you just turn the small grid back to medium grid. Or even large grid. Turn to large grid. That way you can also always put vans in there too. Now if you go to available vehicles, only the motorcycles and cycles will be turned on because you just glitched in the small starting grid. Uh, so now we can just check mark all the other ones we want to have in again. Let's say uh, we'll take supers in and we'll take vans in. Now just hit circle, go back. And uh, now um, you can set your default class to whatever you want. So now you see we even with vans where we use a large starting grid, bigger than for supercars, they're now glitched in on the small starting grid. So yeah, now you could also take, for example, you could also take the motorcycles out again and the cycles out again, you know, and just leave the uh, classes in which you actually want in your race. So now we just got vans and supercars with the small starting grid here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, test it with vans real quick. That'll be funny. Box for burrito, camper, clown. Let's just take the clown van. Test race. So yeah, that's how you build way up in the sky where you wouldn't be able to get your trigger normally. And uh, with a small starting grid, I'd always recommend using that because you can just um, always work in tight confined areas. Also, if you're play really playing with 30 players, uh, player number 30 doesn't have to catch up as much to get to place number 1, 2, 3 and so on. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed it. That's how you build sky races uh, with sky triggers and glitch in a small starting grid. I'll be doing much more tutorials in the future, so look out for that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you for the next tutorial. Take care.